propellant storage tanks at the tank farm before making another attempt. All right, we are coming up on three minutes on to uh, the ship booster coming up shortly. Not currently tracking a reason to hold at T minus 40. It can pop uh, both out over the Gulf and in our re-entry zone. Launch of this version of Starship and Super Heavy. Once again, we're really... Should hopefully be seeing... T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have liftoff. Go Super Heavy. Go Starship. Thanks for all the historic flights, Bad One. Vehicles catching downrange. Booster Raptor chamber pressure nominal. Max right, so, so at this point, we've passed through that period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. The next thing we're looking forward to is going to be hot staging. So. We've got 33 out of 33 Raptors lit. Super Heavy makes its way uphill. All right. Miko coming up in about 10 seconds. See the engines throttling down. Who's running cut off? Ship ignition. Stage separation. Use back burn startup. Back. Real, real excitingly ship, though, we've got six out of six Raptors lit on ship there, so it's now going to continue to make its ascent into outer space. All right, there's the end of the boost back burn. We should be seeing the hot stage. So the hot stage separates, it's going to make its way down, also splash down in the gulf. In the meantime, though, these six ship raptors are going to continue fire, firing for about five more minutes. And as we're starting to get into the denser part of the atmosphere, the booster is using four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric entry towards its landing site. And we're just ship about 20 seconds away from landing burn start where we'll ig first ignite the center 13 engines then bring that down to five to slow down the booster for landing and finally that will come down to three and we'll cut all of them off while we're still about 200 meters in the air so booster is going to see a bit of a part of it booster landing will start it Booster landing burn shut down. And there we heard it. Booster landing burn shut down. We saw a 13 to 5 to 3 V3, V3 demonstration. And into the water we go. Wow. That was absolutely awesome. If you can even hear us right now, congrats to the whole <laughs> SpaceX team. So far, so good for today. That was incredible. All right, great stuff, guys. I'm jealous of the crowd. All right, back to ship. Ship's still making its way. We've got a little under two minutes left in this ascent burn, so we've got all six Raptor engines still firing. Go. Just a reminder, this is putting us into a suborbital trajectory, so we're intentionally just going slow enough that we're not going to achieve full orbit. This puts us on a course where those engines shut off, and no matter what, we're coming back. Starship is internal zone. guidance in the Indian Ocean. All right, terminal guidance. So we should start seeing the shutdowns come up in just a couple seconds, less than 30 seconds to go in this ship ascent burn. All 
All right, our vacs have shut off. Three more to go. Ship engine cut off. All right. All ship Raptors have shut nominal down. Nominal orbit insertion. You just heard nominal orbital insertion, so we are on the path that we wanted to be. So we've got a ship back in space, a whole lot ship planned for it, lots more still to come. Great seeing Super Heavy make its way to the water, uh, but I'm excited to see what ship can do in space. How's everybody doing down there? Yeah, if you could hear the crowd behind us this whole time, people are definitely happy with how the day's been panning out so far. Definitely exciting to see Starship safely in space and super pumped to see all the team's hard work in action here today. Yeah, and we guaranteed it at the start of the show, but it has been an awesome day so far. It's crazy. All this has happened in just 10 minutes. All the objectives were met on the booster, including that V3-style landing burn. So now all eyes are on the ship as we get ready for our in-space objectives. But we've got a few minutes until that next milestone, so sit tight, enjoy the views, enjoy the space jams. We'll be back at T plus 16 minutes for payload deploy. All right, so payload door is open. Next up, going to be to start deploying these Starlink simulators. Coax it out. Get it moving, Jake. There we go. All right, first one going out. All right, first one's deployed. Getting ready for the second one here. We do a little reset back to the center position. Yeah, it takes about a minute for each one. Looks real smooth, too. They made a couple of tweaks to those rails. If you watched the last ones, it had a couple of bumps on the way out, but moving out super clean this time. Yeah, and as noted earlier in the show, but definitely worth repeating, Starship will deploy Starlink's more advanced V3 satellites, adding 60 terabits per second of capacity to the network per launch. Uh, so that's 20 times more than each Falcon 9 launch does today. Just incredible. Yeah, and any, anybody that's been following Starship, you know Starlink's kind of the MVP for these flight tests where it's not only giving us the views we're seeing right now, uh, but also just real-time data through every phase of flight. So we've got a couple dozen cameras on Starship. We've also got a bunch of cameras spread across the globe, including out in the Indian Ocean where we've got our fun buoys floating. There goes another one. Next one out the door. There we go. All right, I think we got one more to go.
All right, now with payload deploy complete, Starship will now close its payload door and continue to coast around Earth to the Indian Ocean. We still have a ton of major events to come today, including Raptor Relight at about uh, T plus 37 minutes. <laughs> All right, just about 12 minutes to go. Still looking good. All right, we can see that speed just continue to bleed off under 20,000 kilometers an hour. It's actually a good demonstration of uh, a future capability we hope to have on Starship where we will do point-to-point -point transport on Earth. So uh, essentially travel anywhere in the world in about an hour or so, which is you know going to be pretty crazy. Imagine going from New York to Sydney in one hour instead of the you know 20 hours it takes currently. And this camera is embedded right in the end of one of those forward flaps, so you, you see it moving around. That's the flap adjusting to maintain control. Looks like we're getting into our bank maneuver. Now power sliding through the atmosphere. External <laughs> temperatures are coming down. Everybody cross your fingers, see if our range team was able to get out there and provide any surprise views as Starship makes its way down. Oh, it's like they heard me. Ready and waiting, let's go. <laughs> Dan, you just spoke that view into existence there. <laughs> Shipping is, the ship is making its turn for final approach. And here's this kind of aggressive final turn that would essentially position it so it's right behind the launch and catch tower. <laughs> Flaps holding strong. Landing burn in just under 20 seconds. Ship landing startup. There's our landing burn. Three down to two. Starship has landed. <laughs> As we said, we're not planning on recovering the ship today. Hey, welcome back to Earth, Starship. We are down in the Indian Ocean. Let him hear at Starbase. What a day. What a flight. Oh. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to Earth ship. Uh, what, a, what a day. A whole lot more to go through. Uh, as you just saw, everybody here at Starbase pretty hyped. Uh, hey, Tyler, out of Hawthorne, how's everybody holding up? Thank you, Dan. We had a fantastic time watching. It was another exciting Starship flight test in the books, and we hope that you enjoyed those Starlink views too. So congratulations to the team at Starbase and everyone here and around the company. So many employees contribute to the Starship program as we continue to iterate and make progress towards a multi-planetary future. So that wraps it up for us here in Hawthorne. Thank you for tuning in, and back to you guys. Yeah, what an incredible launch today. Uh, we had... <laughs> 
Successful liftoff. Uh, Booster completed its objective, successfully splashed down over in the Gulf. Um, obviously, we saw another amazing Starlink deploy as well from ship. Yeah, we made it through that re-entry, testing all the different experience. We had missing tiles, gave us quite the light show. We had that Raptor relight, three for three. That was ahead of re-entry, of course. And then that awesome splashdown that we just saw, including that dynamic banking maneuver to simulate RTLS when we returned to the launch site. So yeah, we promised maximum excitement and Starship delivered. Definitely. Congrats to all our teammates at SpaceX and to everyone who's supporting the Starship program. And thank you to all our future customers for your support. We'd also like to thank the fine people at Canada.